on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. You said one this, Lord Frieza. Yes. It seems that we have come across something that would be very helpful to you, Saiyans. Helpful? What do you mean? Bring it. As they see, Izuku is who say hello to your beloved prince. We finally found him after so long of searching. Wait, so you weren't lying? You were actually looking? Just in case. As I said before, your prince means a lot to me. Just as much as he does to you. Now, would you like to address your subjects? Is something the matter? Yes. You're telling me that these are the Saiyans. For what I've heard, you have been very bothersome to Lord Frieza and his conquest. Uh, well, I... Radis. Nappa. Tarble. Care to explain? Uh, well... Well, uh... Exactly. You can't, now can you? It seems as though you've forgotten what we do. For as long as he is on the throne, we follow his orders to the letter. So help me. If you cause any more problems, I will cut off your tails and mount them on my wall. But there is no room for insubordination in Frieza's empire, and you will treat him as you would me or my father. <laughs> Am I understood? E e yes. Good. Well said. Very well said. You may be off now. Izuku bowing as the others follow him. You seem worried, Zarbon. Something seems off. How so? This Vegeta is far different from the child he used to be. He would mainly stay silent and never really acknowledge you in such a way. Hmm. This is correct. Perhaps he learned respect while being marooned on that planet for so, so long. Perhaps, but to have such a change. Him showing you this respect? I'm, I mean, don't get me wrong, he respected you before, but to this extent? They need to cut off their tails. Yeah, I do agree with the fact that it does seem rather odd, but it's a welcome change. He can help me rein in those monkeys, or if he can't, I could always ensure that they... 
reunite with the rest of the race. Uh, very well. Hmm. But there's nothing to worry about. Not at the moment, at least. As yes, this is when Izuku is pretty much alone with Radis, Tarble, and Nappa. Alright, scouters. Put them right in the center of the room. Why? Just do it. So they do. Izuku destroys them. Then looking at him like he's crazy, but it's like, what, why? We don't need them. What? Trust me, they're nothing but a hindrance. Uh, but don't question me. Now, I don't want anyone listening to this conversation, so it would be in our best interest to have no one listening. All right. What's this about? It's about avenging our race. Taking back our pride. Res. We're gonna need some help. What? Yes. Love your brother. Do you know where he is? Uh, wait, Kakarot? So that's his name. Yes, but wait. How do you know his name? Wait, how do you know I have a brother? Uh, uh, don't we usually have a sibling or so? So, like me and Tarbald and you and Kakarot. Uh, right. So, uh, what's this about? Again, we're gonna overthrow Frieza and his armies, liberate the planets, nah, can't forget to kill his father and any other incursion we find. Uh, wait, what? I'm planning a rebellion. At least, for us. Everyone else, we'll see how things go. Uh, but if if we if we fail, we won't. Trust me. Uh. So that threat about cutting off our tails—it wasn't no threat. So you were just kidding. No, I was serious. I will cut off your tails if you prove to be a nuisance. However, what Frieza doesn't know is that I can have them regrown. What? Yes. I know how to regrow our tails once they cut off. But I thought... You thought wrong. Don't worry about your Saiyan pride. All that matters is that we fight for it's right. Wait, what? Does it sound like... Mm. Yes, giant times have changed. At least... In the time I've been gone. So, uh, I have a question. What is it, Nappa? Do you know the reason why we're the only Saiyans left? The real reason? Frieza destroying our planet, killing my father, and killing every Saiyan that was foolish enough to stay 
on the planet Vegeta. Yes, I know. I was worried. He would say that. Don't worry about it. At the very least, we we'll have our revenge. I swear it. He's gonna regret ever underestimating the power of a Saiyan. I just. I wish I could have been here for you. Uh, Prince. No. King. What? I am King Vegeta to you. You should start addressing me as such. My father is dead. Right. However, just so as not to arouse too much suspicion, you should call me Prince or Vegeta. Just so no one catches wind of your immediate change. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but to help with this, I'm going to need you, all three of you, to start acting up again. What? Start being a subordinate. Frieza will come to me and demand that I retaliate or rein you in. What are you, what are you going to do? I'm gonna uphold my promise. You mean you're... I'm going to cut off your tails, yes. But... No buts. Just do it. Hey, wait a minute! Tarble. What? All we know, we could be stronger than you, but really. Hmm. Too bad. Like your scouters, you don't even know how strong I really am. You can't be over. I'm far stronger than my father. I can destroy a planet. And that's even without this tail of mine. You're bluffing. Then come, fight me. I won't use any power. I'll use my basic technique, my martial arts skills, to take out each and every one of you. You can come at me all at once if you want. Jarbo is a little uh, hesitant, but everyone else is... Is he serious? If you're not going to attack first, I should. Is Izuku just vanishes and knocks each of them out. Greasily. And since, yeah, Raz is a bit stronger, but still the weakest, at least compared to Tarbol, all things considered, yeah, he's gonna grab them by their tails and threaten to cut them off here and there. Napa, how did you. It's quite simple. I'm stronger. A lot stronger than you think. Or anything that Frieza would never believe. You see, he fears us deep down. What? Yes, 
He's terrified of what we could do. He knows that we get stronger after each fight, whether we win or lose, as long as we survive it. He's worried that if we get hurt enough, we could surpass him or become Super Saiyans, or at least one of us. What? A, a Super Saiyan? Yes. But that's not, that's not possible. That's just a myth, a legend, you know. It's real. Very much real. Real enough to the point where he pretty much destroyed our world and killed so many of us. Blaming on a meteor of all things. What other nonsense. Do you really believe in... I do. But first things first, we need to collect some allies. I say your brother Kakara, as well as two others. Uh, wait, what? What do you mean by two others? Hmm. It seems as though my father and his infinite wisdom and paranoia decide to exile one of our own. Technically two, when some unforeseen circumstances happened. Uh, are you serious? Yes. This one might be stronger than Frieza, or at least stronger than me. I have no idea, but one well, thing's for certain, we could use that power. But that's an issue. They were exiled due to this power because they could prove such a hazard. If I'm right, my assumptions one of them may have harbor a grudge against me because of my father's actions so I will have to do whatever I can to make sure that we remain on the same side that will be very much easier said than done but first things first I'm going to need you to start some mayhem as if I didn't show up today. So you can begin your training. Uh, are you sure? You can grow our tails back. Only one way to find out. As yes. Upon <laughs> them getting these orders. They cause absolute destruction and cast catastrophic behavior. Frieza already pissed and demands that Vegeta do something. He does. He lays all three of them out and cuts off their tails. They are devastated at seeing this. As Frieza is also shocked but also like huh. He actually meant what he said. But what really throws him off is when he cuts off his tail. This sends him off the deep end like, what the hell, what are you doing? As he just walks up and presents it to Frieza. What is this? I offer it to you. We already punished your Satans, but you do this to yourself. Why? They are my subordinates and I could not control their behavior. I am just in as much fault as they are. 
so I should share in their punishment. And you did this without hesitation. And I've noticed that they are not even wearing scouters. No. That was the first punishment. Having them get possibly ambushed and whatnot seemed fitting. But now, seeing that these have been a rather rambunctious children, seems like I dealt with my end of the bargain. And this is a gift. Just to say that I am sorry for not arriving sooner and still having trouble with my own people. Frieza is taken aback by this. Not so much as like, okay, I fully trust you, but more like, hmm, he's, he's a quick learner, but also to weaken himself. Something doesn't feel right about it. Normally a Saiyan will guard their tail like it's their very souls or whatnot. It's a symbol of their pride. But he's so quick to throw it away. He accepts the gift, but he's like, okay, something something, something doesn't sit, sit right with me. My gut feeling is saying something's wrong here. As then, yes, this is when the complete and utter hell that is their training starts to undergo. First things first, learn how to sense energy signatures without the use of a scouter. Though they still have to pretend that they don't know which way is where, eh, they slowly but surely get the hang of it. When it comes to masking how strong they actually are, the only reason why no one's noticed a huge spike is because he learned how to suppress it just like Izuku would. Or It's a lot more difficult considering that Radis, he wants to feel superior to others so he does get into some unfortunate fights only if they're actually uh, willing to start to fight themselves. So as they are getting stronger, people start to notice, like, okay, so they're they're not complete weaklings. They're at least worth a squad of one of the Frieza's soldiers. But when it seems like their strength has hit a plateau, no matter how much they're actually training far away, it's... It is catching some eyes, like, okay, some, some of those seem right here. The power levels have stagnated, but they still keep on training, but why? Their Prince Vegeta has forbidden them from using scouters. How come? Questions start to arise within the army of Frieza. He was, yeah, Frieza is pretty nice he is. He's, okay. Yes. That, uh, I see what you're saying. It makes sense to why you'd be a little concerned. But remember, these are just Saiyans. They're no threat to anyone. Yeah, keep thinking that, you bastard. Either way, let's get to Raz and fighting Kakarot. He does. The only thing is, is, like, okay, so I need permission to be able to take this pot out. Hmm. Yes, I'm gonna need an excuse. Ah. 
You say you're trying to survey the planet to see if it's worth pillaging, or at least selling afterwards, or should we just destroy it or leave it alone? How long will it take? Mm, a great deal. Really? I say possibly a year, so I would be sleeping and notably weak compared to before. Hmm. Very well. I'll go go about getting permission. As yes, the first reason is like you want one of you to survey a planet I haven't even heard of yet to see if it's worthy of conquest or just all null destruction yes just one of you that's correct hmm very well but I refuse to let you go alone Queen. Uh, is there something wrong? Uh, no. No, not at all. Good. Kui, you shall copy your rise to this planet. See if it's worth even the fuel needed to venture out that far. It's going to take around a year, isn't it? Yes. Good. So, you may be off. As yeah, Kui. He wasn't scared of Vegeta. I mean, at all. So, he sure as hell ain't scared of Raz, despite his little power boost. Hmm. So, yeah. You can just imagine that Kui is actually. Hemming it up, being a bit of an asshole, arrogant, you know, bakugo, <coughs> because of certain things. So, it's pretty much like, alright. So, uh, I, 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 how do I get away from him? I can't sabotage his pod or else, no, you can't. That would be rage is suspicious. Plus he's wearing a scouter. If anything, maybe... No, I can't mess with the technology. It'll be too... You'll be way too suspicious. Yeah. So what? As soon as we get there, or that's it. Make sure you fall asleep, but also make sure that you wake up first. What? Yeah, think of it like this. If you wake up first, you could. Destroy the pod as well as Kui. Not to mention that scouter. Just make sure he doesn't say anything before. You know. Hmm. Alright. That sounds about... That sounds doable. Good. Now be off. As this is about the time when Kui being... His, his his beautiful level of arrogance and being mockering of all that nonsensical nature. It's pretty much like, oh, okay, try not to slow me down. Try not to drag your feet or anything. Yada yada yada. I'm definitely going to survive this and be praised for my awesomeness. Of tea. As the 
search goes for planet Earth and Kakarot. When it comes to Napa, Tarbo, and Izuku, they're pretty much thinking, okay, so how are we going to do this, but with, you know, finding these other two Saiyans here. I have it. I can send you all on a training mission in a certain sector while I offer my services onto a patrol. That way, we don't have to worry about, you know, him thinking we're up to something or trying to hide something from him. That would be very helpful. Really? Wow, where did you get some of these ideas? Usually you're a battle genius, but now you're better at making... Yeah, don't worry about it. Just say, hey, something changed my whole world view for the better. As yes, this is where he meets Chi Lai and the old man. Then, they're terrible. Actually, terrified to a certain extent, considering how the freezer acts about Saiyans being brutish, rude as hell, jerks, and whatnot. So, worst, worst case scenario, they think he might lose his mind and blow up the whole place. So, don't worry. I won't hurt you unless I have a reason to. <coughs> Please don't. I'm too old to die, and I'm too young and pretty. Right. I, I, I assure you I won't hurt you. If anything, I just want to help, is all. As Izuku is thinking in his mind, oh, it's a shame I might have to kill them. Last thing I need is for them to say anything. Now, back to a little time skip into which, yes, everything in Dragon Ball still stays the same. And I mean... <laughs> I started rewatching that shit again, and it was still just as funny as it was before. Entertaining. The only thing is, there's a huge explosion, and Goku and the others already sense like something is not right. Like there's this energy is far more not malicious per se, but stronger than anything that they faced before. So Goku, he wants to check on, check on it. He's like, no, no way, my son's here. Let me wait a minute. Where Raz does come across the form hand, he, he does shoot at Raz, but it's like, bitch. Jim's, wait, no, no. Uh, uh, King Vegeta told me not to kill anyone. Try peaceful negotiations and whatnot. Uh, did you just catch that? It's like, it's like, calm down. I'm. Hmm. I come in peace. Let's see if that works. <gasps> no, 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 no. Him running away is like, I've seen alien movies before. That's bullshit. You're gonna kill us. You're gonna prob us. Hey, wait, wait, what? Him running off the rise. He just. Teleports. I'm not here to hurt anyone unless I have to. So calm down. I'm just looking for someone. Do you know anyone in Kakarot? A, a, a carrot. Uh, I mean, there's a farm. Uh, I don't think I have carrots, though. Maybe lettuce and. Uh, you know what? Never mind. He says to someone, he's like, don't worry about it, that might be him. Him charging straight towards Piccolo, who's like, hmm? Uh, who are you? 
My name is Radis. I'm looking for my brother Kakarot. And then he sees a tail like. Ugh. Wait. Why do you have a tail wrapped around your. Oh, don't worry, it's fake. What? I mean. I mean, it was real, but luckily, King Vegeta actually allowed me and the others to earn them back through training. Sadly, he won't let us regrow them yet. But yes, do you know where my brother Kakarot might be? I mean, he has a tail like mine. I... Really? Huh. Tail. <laughs> mm, no. No, I don't. And then he says it's another energy signature. Is like, Very well. I'll tr try the next one. Him flying off. Piccolo was like... Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I really do wonder. As soon as he arrives at Comedy House, he's... Hmm. Hmm? Seeing Goku's... Kakarot. There you are. Huh? Who's that? That's you. Kakarot. You look just like our father. What? Our... Uh... And then he looks like, wait, he has a tail. Oh, well, yes, I, well, I did, but then it got cut off. And I still, I still have it, just, <sighs> you know. Wait, so, Goku, I think this person might know Goku. Who's Goku? That, his name is Kakarot. He's a, Kakarot. Okay, so, question, why are you calling me Kakarot? That's, that's your saying name, that's, that's the name you were, that were chosen and you were born with. Really? But, I go by Goku. Huh. Really? Yes. As he turns his head, he sees Gohan. He's like, Is that your son? And what if it is? Hmm. If anything, seems as though you're a little bit skeptical of my visit here. But I'm here to ask for your help. What? Uh, uh, what kind of help? As he does get in the bowl, break down or freeze, uh, their plan to overthrow him. And Goku, hearing this, as well as, like, how strong is this Frieza person? Uh, he destroyed our whole planet. And everyone on it. Really? So you really do need his help? Yes. Huh. Okay, so what do you think, Goku? Uh, he's my brother, but I, I you know nothing about being a... What did you call it? Saiyan? Yes. Would you like to learn? I mean... Uh... Okay... Really? You don't mind? I mean, we could also use, you know, your... My son? But he's not a fighter. Oh, believe me, all Saiyans are fighters. All it takes is some incentive.
What better incentive than to rid the world of a tyrant? As he's looking at Gohan and Goku's... What if I... What if he doesn't go? <sighs> I could try to force you, but... It would go, go against what King Vegeta wants. So I won't. But I do implore you to think about it. I'll be around this area where my pod is. And the rest is gone.